Hello and welcome. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to port forward our Gary's Mod game server um, so that we can have other players connect to it. If you guys watched my previous tutorial, we have uh, we set up a batch file here, which we start our server from, and we have uh, some information in here. So uh, just real quick, I just want to talk about this real fast. Um, if you guys did watch my tutorial, I use a custom port. You can actually remove this port here and it will um, use the default Gary's Mod port, which is 27015. Um, but just keep in mind, if you are using a custom port, when it comes to putting in the port, you want to put in the port that is actually specified for your server. Um, so just be mindful of that. So I'm just going to leave this. Or actually, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and remove this just for sakes, because I'm pretty sure most people are not going to be using a custom port. So I'm going to go ahead and save that now. Um, and so now whenever I go to port forward, I want to make sure I'm using the right port here. So first thing that we need to do is access our router. And so to do that, uh, you can go ahead and hold down the windows key and press R and then, um, this run will pop up and you can just hit enter for CMD or type CMD. And then you should see something like this. And then what you want to do is type IP config. And the main thing that we're looking for here is the default gateway. You can see that we don't have a default gateway here, but over here we do, we have 192.168.1. 1.1. One. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in now. Okay. And now you can see we are now on our router here. I actually did not have to log in, but if you do have to log in, uh, more than likely your username is going to be admin and then the password is going to be password. Um, but I'm already logged in here, so I didn't need to worry about that. Um, your password may vary based on the router that you're using. Um, so you want to be mindful of that and look up your exact router type. Also, uh, your panel here is going to more, more than likely be completely different if you're not using the same um, router as I am. Uh, but the main thing you want to do is probably look for some form of security. What you want to look for in the end is port forwarding or virtual servers. Um, it can be a variety of things depending on what you have. So make sure to look that up for your router. But I know for mine, it's in uh, the security section. And then I'm going to click on apps and gaming. And now you can see I have single port forwarding, port range forwarding. The main thing I'm looking for here is single port forwarding. Um, so you can see that I already have some port forwarding here set up for my other port 1337, but I'm going to be using the default port, which is 27015. Um, and there's some information that we're going to need here, but I'm going to go ahead and just click add a new single port forwarding. And I'm going to call this Gary's mod default, meaning like the default port. Um, and then the external port, I'm just going to do 27015 internal port 27015. And then I believe you have a choice of UDP TCP. You want to make sure that that is set to both. Then your device IP number, this is where you're going to actually go back into your CMD here. And what you want to find is your IPv4 address, the same place where you find your default gateway. You see IPv4, we have 192.168 and mine is .1.123. So one and then one, two, three. And then I'm just going to hit save. And then I believe that is good to go. So then whenever I open up my server now, we wait for this to do its thing. Okay, so now that my server is up, if I go ahead and type status, you can now see that uh, we have our IPv4 address here and the port is 27015 and our public IP is this right here. So we'd wanna handle our public IP or uh, have someone join off of Steam and whenever they do that, if we have the port here, which is specified right here, if you're using 1337, it will say 1337. So instead of putting 27015, you'd wanna do 1337. Um, but then you should be good to go. So that's how you port forward your server. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment them down below and I will try to answer as many as I can. So thank you guys. Take care.